Now, a brand new trailer for a construction company stolen, and it was all caught on camera. Fox 18 obtained the surveillance video right here of a white van driving off with the trailer, which had $2,500 worth of materials. Wilson Residential Construction was putting in a new roof for a home that suffered damage from the derecho that was on the 1700 block of 68th Street in Davenport. Owner Ben Wilson dropped the trailer off at the home the day before, but the next morning some criminals hooked it up to their car and stole it. Fox 18's Ryan Risky is live in the studio with how this impacts Wilson and his business. Ryan? Eric, with the trailer and the materials being stolen, Wilson is down about $11,000. And this isn't the first time that he has had equipment stolen from a client's house. Ben Wilson, the owner of Wilson Residential Construction, dropped off a trailer with shingles in it to replace a roof on a house in Davenport. But overnight, the trailer was stolen when someone hooked it up to their car and drove off. There's a lot of money. It was a brand new trailer we bought maybe three and a half months ago. So it's, it's brand new and there's $2,500 worth of materials in the back of it. The other issue is the homeowner is obviously not getting the roof done this weekend, so it kind of throws schedules and things like that off. It's just unfortunate for everybody. The trailer itself was worth over $8,000. It was dropped off the day before work was going to begin on the new roof, but now that has been delayed. Usually that's what we do is we'll drop off the, the trailer with the materials inside of it, so that way the, uh, the workers can, you know, pull those out and throw them on the roof. Wilson has already repurchased the materials, but he has run into another problem with roof shingles. Nationally, we are actually running very low on shingles. Um, they're getting very, very, very hard to find. We've had several suppliers that don't have them anymore. So getting those materials was already difficult enough. Purchasing them the second time isn't any easier. So we do have the materials. Adding to the frustration is that this isn't the first time that Wilson has had equipment stolen from someone's house. Well, it's more frustrating than you think because actually this is the second time this has happened in uh, the last year. I had a uh, work truck stolen out of Silvis um, earlier this year. Since Wilson was able to find more shingles despite the shortage, he will be getting started on the homeowner's new roof tomorrow. In the studio, Ryan Risky, Fox 18 News. Very unfortunate, Ryan. Thank you. Now a drug bust has a